session. <laughs> hey, thank you for that wonderful introduction, MC um, Andrew. I appreciate that so much. Hey, everybody. So how are you doing, Angel Sessions? I know I had to reach out to you and I had to bring you in because you're working on a lot of new stuff. Matter of fact, you have a lot of new stuff that came out even before I even spoke to you about it. You you just kept putting new music out, putting new music out, putting in all sorts of genres. I mean, you get your hands on every genre known on the planet. I mean, you got gospel music, the praise music that I, I like to. You also have R&B hits that you got your hands in on. And you got hip hop songs that you got your hands in on. And, and a lot of the stuff you write yourself, like you write the rap music in your songs. You you write the the, the hooks, the, the, the yeah, you do it all, Angel Sessions, you do it all. So let's talk about you. What have you been doing? Like, tell the folks what have you been doing since the last time we spoke. Fill us in. Well, thank you so much for that, um, MC Andrew. So, you know, I've always stayed in creating and writing more new songs. I like doing it each year simply for me. Every time, every year, putting out something new because this is my passion. You know, mainly of, like with my gospel music, of course, first of all, and always foremost is the love I have for Christ and um and his love and and him loving me and wanting to share that and his message that's so important to the world because there's a lot of people who seems to forget God as though he doesn't exist and he does and this world is definitely an example of all that he's created to know that there is a God and so for my love for him I definitely want to always share that in my gospel songs and I've started out as an R&B singer. Back in 1998, I released my first album, Introducing Angel, off uh, Ichiban Records that was located out of Atlanta, Georgia, slash Pitmobile Records, which was an independent label by my late friend, Fred Pittman. And in 1999, when Ichiban folded, we decided to record more new music, and we did. And we were shopping a deal, and then we decided to go with Fantasy, Incorporated out of Berkeley, California, here in the Bay Area, which they reactivated Stax Vote Records. So in 1999, I put out Love Ride. So I've written a lot of R&B music from that point on until 2003. I started wanting to tap into getting back into gospel music, and so this is why I have two genres. And of course, I I started tapping tapping into hip hop because during 2003, 2004, I was promoting and marketing my girl group when I used to manage back then, featuring my niece, Jay Azra and Shardella, my beautiful daughter, One Unity. So I started writing songs for my niece because she is a great, phenomenal hip hop rapper. And now she writes her own stuff. So she's straight dope, just super phenomenal. But at that time, I was teaching her, I was structuring her, and I started writing for her, and she just blossomed into her own, and now she does her own thing now. And then, of course, for myself. So some of the songs I've even written for myself, I may write rap inside of the songs. I got a new song coming out in September. It is a gospel song, of course, and I have a little rap in that one that I wrote as well. You know, I like to do, use all my talent and all my vocal arrangements, you know, singing since I've been, you know, st structuring and learning how to sing back in the day i you know went to school for about 10 15 years singing you know and learning from jackie harrison and judy davis and um using all my vocal range from whistle notes to low notes to mid notes to whatever you know so when you hear all those things in my my records when i do all that it's because i had to i learned all that you know when i was doing vocal training i love writing songs that's really what i've been doing since i last spoke with you which is writing a lot of songs and releasing them and performing live here and there and just pretty much basically staying on top of that and staying on top of my fans and and just promoting and marketing and doing a lot of of that more than anything else. Yeah.